This is a test of your ability to perform active movements. After each movement is demonstrated, try to perform the movement to the extent you safely can in a controlled manner. We will skip any movements you feel unsafe to perform. After each movement, let me know if you feel any pain that limited your ability to move by pointing to any areas where you felt pain. The first series of movements will be done while you're sitting on the front part of the chair. Do not lean against the backrest of the chair. Begin by placing your hands on your knees with your palms facing up and fingers spread. Then try to touch the tips of your thumbs to the bottom of your pinky fingers. Next, open your thumbs and try to touch the other fingertips to the middle crease of your palms. Next, keep your palms together next to your chest and lower your hands down as far as you can. Next, spread your elbows back and try to touch the top of your shoulders with your fingertips. Next, extend your elbows and then raise your right arm as high as possible from the side and try to place your arm against your head. Then perform the same movement with your left arm. Next, turn your head to the right as far as you can and try to touch your chin to your shoulder. Then turn your head as far as you can to the left and try to touch your chin to the other shoulder. Next, turn, sit, turn to sit sideways in the chair. Then extend your head back as far as you can to look up. Next, stand up with your feet even and shoulders and feet about shoulder width apart. Then bend over at the waist while you keep your knees straight or slightly bent and slide your hands down your legs as far as you can to touch the floor in front of your toes. Next, face forwards with your feet about shoulder width apart. Keep your arms at your sides and rotate your shoulders and hips as far as you can to the right. Then rotate as far as you can to the left. Next, cross your arms and try to stand on the right leg only with your legs apart until I count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then try to stand on the left leg only with your legs apart until I count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, ten. Next, try to step up and over the step by placing only your right foot on the step. Then turn around and step back across by placing only your right foot on the step. Then try to perform the step up and over by placing only your left foot on the step. You may hold on to the table for support to the extent needed for safety during this step movement. Next, walk several steps on the right heel only and turn around as you keep your right toes off the ground as high as possible. Then try to perform this movement to walk on your left heel only. Next, step back to kneel with your left knee behind your right foot and pause with your trunk upright before standing back up. Then step back to kneel with your right knee behind the left foot. 
You may assist with your arms in the chair or ground to get up or down if needed for safety. Next, squat to lower your bottom as low to the ground as you can without using your arms to assist. Pause and then stand back up. 